Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 9th of our Python basic series for beginners and in this video we're gonna talk about the types of errors which you may encounter while writing a Python program. So first of all let's see the broad classification of errors. First is compile time error, second is runtime error and third is logical error. So first let's see that what is compile time error. Now the error which comes while compiling or running a piece of code are called compile time error. You write your commands, you run it and then these error occur. Okay. So this compile time error can be further classified into two types. First is syntax error and second is semantics error. So first let's see syntax error. Now syntax error occur when the grammatical rule of python is violated let's see this example there you can see the grammatical rule of python is violated here because the single is equal to sign is used for assigning the value but here we are comparing two values we are writing an if statement and then comparing here so for comparing we use double equal to sign but here we are only using single equal to sign so we are not following the grammar of python hence an error will be raised let me show you how that error will actually look so let's open a python shell on our command prompt and let's write a variable a and then let's say a variable b now if a is equal to b semicolon this will raise an error because this is invalid syntax there you can see the syntax error because the grammar of python is violated here just like the grammar of english the rules of english language we have the rules for our programming language also now let's see what is semantics error now semantics error means that there is no meaning of that statement now there you can see in this statement only this is not having any sense like like the rule of python say that the statement should be on right hand side and the value which is to be assigned has to be at the left hand side the value will be stored in x so left hand side and the statement will be on uh, a plus b will be on right hand side there you can see so pretty simple syntax error means when the rules of python are not followed and semantics error means that the statement is not making any sense okay so this is what compiled time error is so now let's move on to our second type of error which is runtime error so by the name of this error you can guess that this error comes while you are running your program now let me show you an example let me open the sublime text and this is what the program i am talking about i have created this program a few days back this is a uh, items listing and billing of a small restaurant so there you can see this program is running perfectly but if i leave a value here this will raise an error value error because this is having a runtime error due to certain conditions if an error occur while running the code then that error is called runtime error okay so this was an example of runtime error our code was running fine when we first started this even if we write the value here now let me run this again so there you can see it's showing no error because there is error in certain part of this code not at the whole code but but at the certain part of the code hence that certain part is creating an error okay so this is what the runtime error is now let's see the last type of error which is logical error now this is not actually an error but this will not show you the output that you require now let me show you another example because example is what i'm good at so uh, let's see this one okay so this was a pattern program which was creating a 
number pattern the link of both the tutorial will be provided below so there you can see if we shift this print statement to this loop then we'll get uh, just a second due to some indentation let's save this and run this and there you can see the code is running and it is not having any runtime or compile time error but it is having a logical error no error but we are not getting what output we require okay so these are the three errors that you will encounter while writing a python program now you must be wondering that why i have created a separate video for errors why haven't i included in any other like in the python basics video so this is because the majority of the comments that comes in my videos are related to something simple some simple errors that you can simply understand and then google them so what i want you is to understand that what type of error that is and find the solution now this video was giving you a general introduction of what the errors are in python in the next video we'll see that how we can actually read those errors and that concept is called exceptional handling we'll see that what that error statement actually means and how we can google that error and find the solution okay and we'll meet in the next lecture where we'll understand deeply of how to handle these errors okay so meet you there bye bye